Hi, I'm Jacob Hornberger, President of the Future of Freedom Foundation. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton is taking her opponent Bernie Sanders to task on the issue of gun control. She's saying that gun manufacturers should be held civilly liable for any murders committed by people who use guns manufactured by that company. How ludicrous is that? I mean, why don't we hold car manufacturers liable for all the deaths on the highways caused by cars? What really is going on here is that in Clinton's ideal world, she would have a gun-free society, just like in Cuba. I mean, we all know she already shares the economic philosophy, along with Bernie, uh, of, the, of the Cuban socialists. Uh, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, public schooling, and other core elements of Cuban socialism. But she also shares this, this gun control mindset. And there's two problems with it. One is, is that the violent criminals will not be disarmed. They don't give a hoot about these gun control laws. In fact, notice that they always are attacking people in gun-free zones. That's because they know that in those zones, people can't fire back. And so people like Clinton want a gun-free zone across the United States, one in which criminals will inevitably have the guns that they will use against the rest of us. So what their gun-free society does is they deprive us of the right of self-defense. More important is, this, is the reason why our ancestors demanded the enactment of the Second Amendment, to serve as a protection against tyranny, to, to tell would-be tyrants, don't even think about it, because we have widespread ownership of guns by which we can resist. It's gun rights that provide the, the best insurance for a free, peaceful, and secure society.